Yo, what is going up guys? I am here back again at Universal Studios Orlando, Florida and we're going ahead and taking a look at some park news today. I know I just made a park news video but we have a lot of brand new Halloween Horror Nights props that have popped up aside from the ones that we already recorded. We have some sad classical monsters cafe news and I'm just so excited to be back in the parks. So without further ado, cue the intro and let's get today's video going. You're a wizard. You guys know let's go into the right side because we have some new props for Halloween Horror Nights that they have disclosed and added to their already established scare zone right here in Hollywood Boulevard it seems like Hollywood Boulevard has added about three new prop sets so there's one back here I think this one was here but there's another one further back which is the one with the um, Nettlewood Cemetery logo on it. The cool part about this Nettlewood Cemetery is that, fun fact, Nettle Creek Cemetery is within a mile, or sorry, an hour or about two hours away from Cary, Ohio, which, fun fact, is the birthplace or the hometown, whatever you want to call it, of the caretaker, which is one of the founders of Halloween Horror Nights. I don't know as of right now what they're going to be doing with that location, but I'm very excited to find out. The minions are dancing it out right here at Hollywood Boulevard, right from the Mel's drive-in. Now, Jack the Clown and the Caretaker are two of the founding fathers of Halloween Horror Nights. And the Nettlewood Cemetery, there's another one called Nettle Creek Cemetery. It's about an hour away from the hometown of this guy right here. He's so creepy. It almost feels like they could, they could almost grab you. Now they do have some other stuff such as the mummy right here. They actually promote it here in the horror makeup show as well. If you ever have time to stop by and check out the horror makeup show, I would highly recommend it. They even have some Grinch prosthetics. Let's make a stop by the super silly stuff which is the gift shop for the minions, Mane and Mayhem. Uh, because we have some brand new stuff, some, it's like this, this minion that you get to dress up and then you get to pick the cool little outfits. Uh, there's one that's a unicorn and another one that's just the original you know, overall with boots and all. This is actually brand new as of today, July 22nd. Dress a minion. It's a whole minion. And you're able to get actual outfits for them. Here's a unicorn. Here's their official overall with boots and all. Pretty cool, brand new to the store. Another cool thing about the Minion Mayhem gift shop is that before, actually when you go and ride it, you get off and you're about to enter the gift shop but then there's a whole little open area where kids could dance around they have really cool music from the movie obviously but it's just super cool to go ahead and do especially with little kids the dance break is over back to work back to work hey back to work i said Oh my a goodness. very important safety perimeter, please. Safety perimeter. <laughs> we just, we can't have you crossing, all right? Those, those are really good for the heat. Yes. I, I've, yeah. I've seen people pass out before these. Exactly. It's oh, <laughs> not safe. It's not very safe. That's, that's, not, yeah. safe exactly, safe. exactly. That's right. Wow. It, it's best. It's We're safe. nice and safe and hydrated within our safety perimeter. Yes, I can, I see. <laughs> safe, safety first, safety first. Safety all right, first. I'll see you guys. <laughs> we have another truss with light fixtures right over here before entering Diagon Alley. Interesting, Universal. Interesting. Another little side note. I decided to pass by uh, the Fear Factor live stage and nothing has been happening so far in the back. The sign is still down. Universal hasn't said anything. So, fortunately, on to Diagon Alley we go. And I'm in Diagon Alley. It is pretty loud because Celestina are playing right now or are performing right now. But Diagon Alley has a lot of little hidden sections, a lot of shade, um, especially Nocturne Alley is one of the most darkest zones inside Diagon Alley. Let's go ahead and check it out because it also has one of the coolest sections in the park.
Diagonal it has, it has a lot of shops. So a lot of shops means a lot of AC. And I actually like uh, Nocturnali. It has Borgen and Burst, which is one of my favorite shops. If I have to go to one shop in all of Diagonali, Borgen and Burks is the one to go to. Or the Weasley's Wizard Weezes. It's actually a really colorful shop, which actually like, weirdly enough, I like the really dark stuff and I like the really colorful stuff. I don't know, but I love them both. I guess I should say that this is actually not a bathroom, guys. I've gotten a lot of people say that they've missed Diagon Alley just because they passed by this place. That's Diagon Alley. It's not a bathroom, guys. Go inside. Don't be scared. As I'm leaving Diagon Alley, I actually am passing by Deer Pier 41. I said Deer. Pier 41 because I just saw a truss back here uh, with some life fixtures, which gets me thinking maybe just like universal has done in the previous years with mardi gras and such they might put some little carts here some food carts here uh food trucks sorry some food trucks here um and this is gonna be used as a place to kind of sit down and eat so yeah this is uh getting my my brain juices flowing as to maybe this is gonna be a little chill zone to kind of eat and chill out while enjoying halloween horror nights here but yeah, it's right there. Look at it. Here it is, right there. It's another truss with some light fixtures mounted on top. I, I have no idea. I mean, it is July 21st and they're already prepping up for Halloween Horror Nights, which is, I feel like it's a little bit too early for it, but hey, I'm not universal. I don't mind Halloween Horror Night stuff happening right here, right now. And I'm very excited for it. Now, I'm sure you guys know about this, but did you know about this one? They're prepping up this scare zone. This is famously known as a scare zone here in San Francisco and they're building it up they're prepping up for Halloween Horror Nights guys I'm seeing trusses everywhere with like pictures just passing by the Fast and Furious Supercharged and there's a little tiny one right in front of it it's so cool oh my god I just love seeing how Halloween Horror Nights gets prepped up uh, for the grand opening Revenge of the Mummy upgrade let's actually go into Sahara Traders to see if we see anything I guess the upgrade for the mummy would be that they still have Brandon Fraser uh, playing on the monitors and as far from that I did see a dinosaur egg which is pretty weird they didn't re I don't remember seeing that the first time oh Rip Ride Rock is passing by awesome unfortunately the rumors are true Universal has completely demolished all of the Universal Monsters Cafe signs all around the cafe so it's no longer the Universal Monsters cafe shop anymore as you can see universal is still promoting jurassic world dominion and these aren't the only things that they're promoting actually have something else to show you hopefully i can find it so unfortunately what i wanted to show you guys wasn't in universal studios uh, in their main general store i'm gonna check out in city walk the universal store if not the last resort is trading co because that's the biggest store that both parks have is actually located inside of islands of adventure is smack down in the beginning of the park as soon as you walk in um, that's the biggest one they have and they have all the brand new merch so i'm gonna go check on that one because i saw on social media that they had this brand new like egg like t-rex or velocity like dinosaur egg a popcorn bucket that i want to go ahead and show you guys it was available about two weeks ago in universal studios hollywood but it finally made its way into universal studios florida and that's why i'm gonna go stop by trading co to make sure that you guys check out this amazing popcorn bucket i've noticed that universal has been pushing all these popcorn buckets i want to say it's to compete with disney since their popcorn buckets have been operating off the shelf but without further ado let's go ahead and check out trading co first because i'm pretty sure they have it here it is 25 and a free and the first refill is free Try and see how I can open this with one hand. I don't think I can. Oh, there it is. Whoa. Yeah, there we go. That's that's much better than the other ones. And it is blue. Oh wait! I just found out this actually lights up. Oh, it doesn't light up. This one doesn't light up. Oh man. But this one does. So, brand new popcorn bucket here at Universal Studios. I only found it in Trading Co. 
which is the biggest store that they have i've also noticed that if you guys don't want the refill and you just want the bucket itself you could just get it and gift that popcorn to someone else that's in the line for popcorn and that's a wrap i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's a lot of upgrades within a couple of days only but without further ado if you guys like this video give it a like down below it really helps me out a lot but if you guys love this video hit that subscribe button down below and join the squad without further ado i'll see you guys in the next one it's getting dark oh my goodness i think it's the longest that i've been here <laughs> see you guys around.